Hello everybody, this is Vinton, aka BitB, and welcome out to another BitB stream. Thanks for coming out everybody, it is Saturday. How's everyone doing? You having a good Saturday? I'm having a decent one? I don't know. The kind of an event, uneventful, not much happening thing. So, I don't know, I couldn't come up with anything particularly new, so we're just going to continue our playthrough of Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Now, while we're, uh, when we're... One second here. I'm just going to take out the music and I'm going to bring in the game footage. Okay, now real quick, I should mention that... Oh, hey, previews. I didn't even... I forgot there was a preview even on this. There we go. Now, I want to mention real quick, uh, I did go in and do a whole bunch of stuff off stream. Uh, like, I mentioned in the last stream of Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts that I probably should do a couple things off stream. Well, I went in and did it. And I'm going to go into detail about what those things are. I mean, you guys really did not miss anything. If anything, I cut out a whole lot of shit that you guys probably wouldn't have wanted to sit through. I mean, like, collecting the jiggies, that's kind of busy work as it is, and I really don't think anyone's going to... Uh, be mad at me too much for going off and doing a whole bunch of the collection stuff. I know that's like uh, that's a huge portion of Banjo Kazooie, but really, it it doesn't make for anything good to watch. Oh, so wait for it to load. There we go. Anywho, we're back here. We have the exact same amount of jiggies. I didn't go out and grab any of those. Uh, what I did do was that I went out and collected as many of the notes as I possibly could from a bunch of the world since I've kind of been putting that off. So we're up to 14,000 notes. Uh, on top of that, I've also done the Jinjo challenges, which are just a way to get like Jinjo tokens and all that jazz. Um, now, if you don't know what the Jinjo tokens are used for, I'm going to quickly go over to J Jinjo Bingo. And we're going to use them. This is a very sad use of an old character. Like, I don't know. That, like, one of the worst parts about Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, in my opinion, is that they really take a lot of their characters and just. I don't know. They sort of just recycle them into these really unnecessary roles. There. Um, there we go. Bingo Palace. So, you know, King Jinjo, the, the the king of all Jinjos, is now running a bingo hall. Gotta love it. Alright. So let's go ahead and play. By the way, how's the audio? I did uh, some tests before the stream, but I'm not entirely sure how well it works. Come on. We're going out to you guys, so let me know if anything's weird. But anyway, Jinjo Bingo, this is the board. I, I don't know if I opened it up or not in the past. But, like, the entire idea is that the more of these things you unlock, the more rewards you unlock. And, it, essentially, if you... It's sort of the workaround system. Like, they could have just rewarded you based on how many Jinjos you collected. But, instead, they're like, oh, no, it, now you get tokens from the Jinjos. So, you can go to this Jinjo Hall and throw these things at the bingo card. Like, I don't... I don't know, it's really stupid. But... Uh, anyway, I went out and just got a whole shit ton of those uh, missions done. Not all of them, because some of them are stupidly difficult. And I don't have nearly... I mean, first off, some of them are unfairly difficult, so fuck that. But anyway, let's just go ahead and see what we can earn here. How does one put the... This, oh, here we go. Okay. Well, let's start off with the yellow, I suppose. Well, this is the most inconvenient board I've ever seen. <laughs> just like, oh, I don't... Let's not press the button and just leave a token or anything. No, 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 that that would be too convenient. Oh, now I gotta go back and... Gr so something tells me you're supposed to... Oh, my God. Did they really expect people to go in here and just... Work on this thing, like, pretty much live as soon as you got a token, come back down to the bingo hall and put down a token? Because that's, like, horseshit. I thought it would be as easy as, like, picking a space and being like, okay, let's place a token. Nope. I gotta go and pick every single one of these fucking things individually. Oh, I love these guys. Love it. Boy, this is going to be boring. <laughs> you guys have anything to do? There we go. This is a real exciting way to start the stream, I gotta say. 
Just excitement every minute. Oh, what else is new? I, I guess I could talk about just so something new in the life of me, but I don't. I don't have a whole lot new. Uh, just uh, it's kind of annoying. Like I mentioned, this is kind of been a really lazy Saturday. I haven't done a whole lot, as well as not much new has cropped up. So shit. Kind of in a bad scenario where I'm like, I got really very little to talk about aside from this game. And apart from the tiny little things that I did to speed this shit up. Like, if I was really... Like, if I was um, really proactive, I would have just put these pieces in here so we didn't have to deal with this bullshit, but... No, here we are. Dealing with the bulliest of shit. There we go. So we got the Citrus Slick as an item. Hopefully actually getting items will finally make things interesting. There we go. So anyway, the idea is like, you just, uh, you get prizes for every row like straight down, and then you get notes for every like straight across. So I guess that's kind of cool. Again, uh, they could have made this a lot more convenient and just allowed me to place them, which does not appear to actually work. Thank you very much, Rare. I swear, this is another one of those things that they just threw into the game for the sheer sake of lengthening the game. Like, it had to have been. I don't know, replaying this a whole lot off, uh, off screen, I, it... There's a lot of bits of this game, especially like Banjo Land, you know, that amusement park level. Oh good, a stereo, that helps me out. There, there's a lot of elements in this game that really come off as... Rare had a whole bunch of projects in the work that didn't end up being able to be made and put into, like, put into place, so they recycled all of them and threw them into their video game. Like, that's really how a lot of this shit comes off, and it's kind of disappointing. There we go. Got ourselves a boot in a box. Oh, Jesus. When we finally finish this, this is going to be... I don't know if it's going to be rewarding. I, I feel like it's going to be soul-crushing. Just like, wow. Look at how much time and effort we put into doing this bullshit. <laughs> See, I don't have any more of the red ones. Finally, we're running out of tokens. Oh, oh, whoops. Here. I meant to get a pink one. Here. Can we get one more row? I don't think so. I think I've exhausted all of the... All the prizes I could be getting here. But again, I, I believe that there are enough tokens that you could just fill this entire board over time, so... That's kind of the mechanic of it. We just gotta wait until we get all the challenges completed. I believe th there's gotta be a couple of challenges at Spiral Mountain once we finally unlock that. Hello, Rustbin. And finally, you. So that's that. Um, oh, I suppose if we get one more yellow, we could place it over here and get ourselves a note reward of 300 notes, so that's kinda cool. Ooh, that, that, no, that's, that's way too much busy work. Like, why did they... Uh, why did they program it like that? That's, all, that's such horseshit. Okay, anyway. So I did that. Uh, I grabbed a couple of just uh, loose part cases that had just been sitting around. Uh, I didn't actually go to Humba's and buy all of the equipment. Because I, I wanted to save that for the stream at the very least. So that we could show off all the cool shit that we're going to be getting. Because I haven't... I don't think I bought anything from Humba. At least nothing major. I think I, I went there once. Maybe. Now my, my brain doesn't really work in holding memory. <laughs> like, some people would call that a bad thing. I call it a quirk. Alright. So we got ourselves 1,400 notes to spend. I think we're going to be pretty comfortable. Um, let's get the large box. The, the energy shield, it's 200, and it's a really heavy son of a bitch. Uh, I think it's useful at certain points in the game, but I'm going to hold off on that. I'm getting the fucking jet, because that's awesome. Um, uh, hold on on the replenisher. I think I, I do make a couple of carts here and there that require that. 
Large ammo. Large fuel. Hold off on the robofix. Uh, I guess I'll get a little more armor. Meh. Another large propeller. Could always use a little bit of that. Ah, a large engine. Nice. Strong seat. I think the rest of this is just kind of unnecessary guff. Uh, I guess I could get the large tray. Okay. Wow, the, the just the frame rates are absolutely broken on this menu. What the fuck? Three, two, one, zero, nine, seven, six, five. <laughs> my no my notes are just absolutely going down there. By the way, if I'm a little more nasally than I am usually, I apologize. Um, it summer is getting here, and a lot of shit is just up in the air, like pollen. Not the best for my nose. Okay, let's get the replenisher. Why not? Uh, should I get the robo fixes? I don't think so. I don't remember ever using them. Bombo, bombo. I don't even remember. Ah, uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna have plenty of money, so I'm just gonna get the energy shield, because why the fuck not? Thank you for business. Alright, that's done. Oh, wow. There's a bunch of notes up there I missed. Fuck. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. So now that that's done, uh, I actually know the next place that I want us to go. I... I don't know if I, like, just straight up spaced it the last time that we were playing or something, but... I noticed the, the world was open when I was uh, here last time, so... It must have opened while I wasn't paying attention. There. It's located up here. And this actually gives us a really important tool to be able to get more crates and shit. Are you it? Yes, you are. So let's go. And wait for it to load. Oh boy. Time to sit around and do nothing. I will say, this is one of the nice things about uh, going digital with all of our games, is that now they're not being loaded off of optical discs. So it's not taking 12 fucking years to load shit. Hello there, witch bitch! What can I do for you? Nineball is my latest game, Grunty the Hustler, that's my name! Gotcha, I think I actually remember this. My new weapon's rather glorious. I'll smash your balls and I didn't read the rest of that. Fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, the pool balls are racked and it's Grunty's break. Defend or hide the balls from her laser cue. They can be anywhere, so be prepared. Stop Grunty destroying five balls to win the frame. I think, I, I think this is a round-based thing and I just need to be able to protect as many of the balls as possible, like within rounds. And I actually remember making a vehicle specifically for this. Not on the stream, but we'll just go ahead and make a new one now. Uh, what was it? I think it was... Here, let's go into the loaded vehicles and just modify one of them. Should be a fly... Sort of a fly land-based vehicle. Let's try and find that. Uh, no. I have so many fucking vehicles, I just, like, every single time I made a new iteration, I just saved it as a new one. Um... Hmm. I suppose, theoretically, I could just go ahead and make a new vehicle. Oh, uh, I should mention, one or two of the vehicles that I was using before, in the last streams, I did modify a tad bit. Like, the, the hump of fat ass, I added a whole bunch of springs to the front of it. But aside from that, I tried to uh, not make any vehicles as much as I possibly could while I was not on stream. God damn, I don't remember which one of these... Wow, it's taking 12 fucking years for any of the models to actually load on the, uh, on the blueprint. You know what, let's just make a new... Uh, a new fucking vehicle, why not? Here. We don't need it to swim. We just add all these things new. Meh. Alright, the, the wheels are fine. 
here. But we are gonna need... Gonna need some folding wings. So let's add that one over there. That one over there. Actually, can we move the wings in, maybe? Make this thing a little more compact. Sounds about right. Oh. No, keep working on it. Okay. For power, let's go ahead and just give it a large engine. We don't need anything too major. Bad loop. Uh, for fuel, to make sure... To make sure we have enough, I guess we could add a large. That's fine. Okay. Uh, we're not gonna need this thing to do too much of anything else, aside from... Well, oh, wait, hold on a second. Should modify the seat real quick. Change it over to the strong one, to <laughs> the one that we just bought. Okay. So we're not really gonna need this thing to swim in any capacity. Okay, and then, uh, we need to add a gadget. This should be interesting. Now, I believe what I did was I went and got one of these and stuck it to maybe the front or either the back. Let's try the back first. Th this is going to make it really lopsided, though. That's the problem. I might have to add a counterweight. Can I do anything to modify that? I feel like that may or may not be a mistake later on. By the way, I feel like I could move the wings down. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's definitely an ugly fucking car, that's for sure. I don't know. Like, I, I'm looking at this at the completely wrong way. Like, th this game is not about aesthetics. It's just all about function. <coughs> oh, God. Sorry, again. Nose is on fire. Well, I suppose the only way I'm going to know if this even works is if we test it, so... Let's try. Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, the answer is no. <laughs> Let's return to the garage. Oh. Yeah, that's why... Let's see which one they... Nope. Nope. Keep looking. Which one of you... Oh, it's not in here? Um... Sinker? Yeah, I, I think this is why the sinkers exist in this game. Boy. Okay. Now is that gonna help it stay on the road? Pro the problem is now I've added a whole bunch of weight to this thing. So flying is probably not gonna be all that great. Oh, also I don't have a propeller, so... That doesn't help my situation. Although, somehow, I'm actually flying pretty well. Wow. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, that... Oh, nope. That being said... Uh, let's add... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's interesting. So, now we just have, like, straight-up large propellers that don't fold at all? I kind of like the folding option, though. Let's see... There we go. Alright, let's see how this thing flies. Oh, no. No, I don't want to fucking paint. There, test trap. Okay. Well, it seems to fly around perfectly fine. And that's all that I really want. I, I just want this thing to be able to fly and also to shoot that son of a bitch. My plan is to try and grab the, uh, you know, what, whatever ball it is that the witch is trying to grab. Or, you know, wh whichever one she's trying to aim for. And then just sort of fly around with it. Because I know she's got that laser on, uh, on her car. So just fly around and just be obnoxious for a really long period of time. Good lord. Alright, what are we going to call this? Um, I'm gonna call this ball.
chain. That's fine. Take on ball and chain. All right, witch. Let's see what you can do. All right, we're going for the nine ball first. Oh shit, nope, we're not. We're going for, oh God. The thing swerves a lot because it's got so much weight on it. So unlike so much unnecessary weight. Okay, take off. Nope. Oh fuck, do I have it? I got it. Okay, cool. I got confused for a second there. All right, now my mission is just gonna try to be fly around. Don't let the witch get near me. I got 15 seconds to keep it alive. And I seem to be doing okay with that. Yeah, this is easy. What are you... <laughs> What's... This is nothing. I say that, but I'm probably going to fail miserably for one of these. Don't spoil my fun, you furry clown. You set him up, I'll knock him down. All right. Two of nine. I just need to, like, win five of these and, you know... Ultimate victory of ultimate times. Got it. Oh god. No. No. Get up. Get up, you fuck. Okay. Get in the air. Don't even give her the option of firing that thing. There. Oh no. No, you don't swerve. Okay, it's fine. Still got it. Ten seconds to go. I think the blue one's in the bag. I think I remember the the original uh, the original design of this actually had the ball in the front. Yeah, these laser laser blasts weren't meant to break you. It's gone wrong. I really hate you. Well, good for you. I have no idea why I had, like, the ball on the front to start out with, because I remember flying around with this thing was absolutely obnoxious. Let's go, buddy. Nope. Up. Up and at him. All right. Wow. <laughs> I think this is going to be the easiest fucking victory I've ever had. So we've at least got nine balls to work with, and I just need to win five of them. <laughs> The good news is that this victory will be able to, uh, like, the thing that I get for this victory is that laser, and what's really cool about the laser is that it finally allows me to get a whole bunch of end game items that are trapped behind laser barriers. Okay, what, what's up next? Oh, balls in your corner. Huh? All right, well, let's see if I can, uh, claim victory still. Yoink! Run! <laughs> Run for your life! Got it! How about that? Oh, Grant Kirkhope. Wow. This is criminally easy. Okay, wait a minute. So, I just noticed the, the counter up there seems to be going up for every single ball that I catch, so we're going to be going through all nine of them. The task is to see whether or not I can um, be good enough to get, like, eight or nine. If I get five, I got it in the bag. Oh shit. Uh, I missed. I missed. Back it up. Hurry. Oh no. Oh shit. <laughs> She's having trouble too. Okay, lift off. Get out of there. Five seconds. Meh. I haven't failed once. I think I have enough room to fail, like, at least. Uh, one time. Okay, this ball is directly behind me, right? Yep. See ya! <laughs> oh, that one's so simple. 
I suppose the final one's gonna be the one right in the center. Yeah, to give both parties an equal chance to win if it was a tie. It's no longer gonna be a tie. I, I, I've basically won. Not entirely sure why. The competition is over. At this point, Grunty is just trying to win, like, a, you know, a shit victory of, uh, denying me my trophy. Okay, another one in the bag. Okay, there's the next one. Speed! Forward! Don't you do it. No! Oh, shit. Oh, I missed. No! <laughs> I'm... No, I'm actually gonna fail. Ah! All right. That's one. Okay, the next ball is behind the podium. Yes. All right. Shoot straighter this time, damn it. Oh, the eight ball. I definitely have to save this one. I think if I save this one, I basically won. Because it seems like, uh, you know, with just the way that the bar has been going up. Oh. Nope. Don't do it. With the way that the bar has been going up, I think I'm going to be able to notch enough that I will win this one. And that'll put me right. right where the blue mark is. I think I'm done. I've, I got it. I can just herp derp around for a while and I'd still win the trophy. <laughs> It's just, I win! I feel terrible for the witch. She got one because I kind of flubbed on it. Yeah, I kind of flubbed on that one, too. Alright. Give it your best shot. Okay, I got it. Yeah, I forget exactly how I managed to figure out this little rig up. Funny thing is, a whole lot of these challenges, like, the, the reason why they're so easy for me right now is because I found the best solution when I was playing this before. So, I can't even imagine how frustrating this would have been a long time ago when I had no idea what I was doing. Victory is mine! And I got myself a trophy. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Okay, I got myself a laser. Very nice. And I believe you can get, like, another laser behind one of the laser grids that are in town. And that is going to kick ass! There's, like, twin lasers on things. Although, I believe the lasers use up a lot of, uh, a, a lot of ammo. Yeah, that's it. Ammo crates. It's so weird to think of ammo as, uh, you know, electricity for your laser. <sighs> Boy, my nose is stuffy. Why? What is happening? Again, I think there's just a lot of pollen in the air. Goddamn trees having, you know, basically imaginary sex. There, I blew my nose. There we go. The cart has been upgraded. Uh, the problem is, if I use it anywhere in town, the police go absolutely nuts. Oh, uh, that's another thing I should have mentioned. Um, uh, I don't think I don't think I said that, but I did do the Jinjo like tower challenges here. Um, oh, for instance, like uh, this one over here, I actually caught a real Jinjo criminal. Well, you know, one of the Minjos, and replaced the Jinjo in it with a Minjo. And that got me a whole bunch of the money that I, uh, <laughs> that ended up filling up my pocket. Oh, oh fuck. There we go. Yeah, see, like right here. Quick. And then the stuff in these boxes are gonna have, like, amazing things in them. So here. We finally reached pretty much end game. All right, Mumbo, what do we got? A small jet, a grenade turret, and a bunch of foldy propellers. Awesome. All right. Uh, where else are any of those? 
I don't know. I, I really don't want to make this episode just the episode where I use my laser a whole fuck ton, but I really do want to have all this up, uh, all this stuff. Oh, hello. What are you? Oh, okay. I guess I could have come in here earlier if I had just swum underwater. <laughs> Whoops. Ah, whatever. The important thing is I got it, and I'm committing, you know, genocidic manslaughter on everyone in town. <laughs> no, it's fine. No broken ribs. Nothing. Mm, ribs. Pig ribs. Yeah. That stuff's a little more basic. So I, I could have gone in there a little bit earlier than getting the laser, but... Oh. Ah, out of the way! No, I don't give a shit. This is what happens when a video game company decides to add cars to a video game that didn't need cars. Alright. I don't want to spend a huge portion of my time just collecting those crates in here. I actually want to collect jiggies, so... Oh, what should we do? Well, I suppose one thing I could do is, uh... grab that one jiggy that I earned. Oh, shit! <laughs> close. For those of you who haven't watched any of the other streams of this, or haven't really watched anything of Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, first off, what are you doing looking up a Twitch stream of uh, Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts? Secondly, uh, the police in this game are absolutely bullshit. Basically, you could cough on them and I'll, they'll just be like, hey, we, we got a criminal in the courtyard, K kick his ass, I don't know. There we go. All right. Now let me real quick check the statistics on stuff. Uh, we pretty much got everything here, there, and I guess there. We, we, we could work on that. Maybe we could get a couple of things. Well, I mean, we need to actually open up a whole bunch of the worlds for both, I think. Banjo Land and Jigosium. Terrarium of Terror is kind of the only place left. <clears throat> Although, I, again, like I mentioned in the last stream, the door to Spiral Mountain is open. So if we wanted to, we could just say nuts to all that and just end the game. But my main problem is that I want to have as many of the items as possible so that I don't... Uh, like, I, I want to have as many elements of the game as possible so that the final levels are easy, simple. So with that being said, we have not really done anything in the terrarium, so... Hey, why the hell not? Let's dive back in. Finish things up, and then maybe on the next stream we can finally dive back to Spiral Mountain and do the final missions. Which is going to require us to have only one car that can do a total of, like, five different things. Just land, sea, air, fighting. Like, you know, uh, like, uh, catching escort missions. Just bullshit. And I believe I know a design for a car that can do that, but it's going to require me having the really advanced fuel and just a lot of the energy and power items for final game stuff. Which is entirely possible, but it's going to require I get more jiggies. Ah. There. Sup? Fuck out the way. Boy, the, uh, it's funny. The police basically act exactly like, I don't know, NYPD. <laughs> it's like, you could just push around as many citizens as possible, but at the end of the day, as long as you're not fucking around with them, it's like, eh, whatever. Uh, there we go. So we got seven jiggies we can get from here. Let us begin. And wait for the, wait for the loading screen to end. Again, like I mentioned before, I really feel like I was inspired by the loading screen here to create, like, the, the background movement stuff for, uh, for the, like, you know, bit B streams things. Like, for instance, like, look at that. Which is funny, because I wasn't thinking of Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts in any way, shape, or form when I made this thing. I, I was just like, what lo what would look good? Uh, some kind of a pixely, boxy moving background? Yeah, something like that. And then much later when I started playing the game, I'm like, oh my god, what? 
That's like 100% exactly where that comes from. Subconscious or some shit. Yeah, okay. Alright, one of the worst things about this place is it's so difficult to navigate through it. There. I suppose when you learn your way around, it's easier, but good lord. Before then, it's awkward as balls. Alright, let's talk to Pikman. Oh god, out of the way. Oh, sorry. But forgive me. Alright. Hey, what are you doing here? This is my hiding place. Don't you realize we got incoming hostiles? What a brave police chief. I've been monitoring police communications. Turns out Grunty's on her way here with some evil germs. Jesus. Okay, so kill germs. Gotcha. Grunty has lured odd-looking germs from the Degozit system into the terrarium. Take to the air and blast them out of existence before they spread all manner of unpleasant diseases. Oh, and I don't even have a choice here. I, th this, this is the only vehicle I can use. Fuck off. All right, let's let's do it. Let's go. Oh wow, this vehicle actually uses balloons. Oh fuck. Oh really? Oh damn it. Where? Oh. Oh, this is awful. This is terrible. What the hell am I doing with this? Okay, there's one germ over there. Let's see if I can... Why can't I just build my own equipment? This is terrible. Like, I could teach the engineers who build these things a thing or two. Come on, you fucker. Okay, oh, one of these. Oh, you have to split. Oh, this is horseshit. Okay, I can't hit that one. It's not yet. Okay. Lose altitude, gain altitude, lose altitude. No. Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna skip this mission. It's a good thing we basically hit end game, otherwise this would be required. And, oh, that's what, but no, I wouldn't be. Uh, I would not be okay with that. Can I hit any of them? The camera seems to really enjoy looking at my ass. Do I only have to kill like? Um. Oh damn! I'm out of I'm out of uh, bullets. Shit. Ah! Stop looking at my ass! This is terrible. Okay, just seven of them, right? Seven? Oh, I'm out of ammo again. Oh my god, this is terrible. Oh. <sighs> Camera! I don't know what I'm aiming at. If you've never had to control something like this, imagine... Okay, imagine you're controlling a hot air balloon. And now imagine you need to target something on the ground from 50 miles up. Wow. I'm so not okay with this. I'm o I've almost run out of time for getting the... Yeah. Oh my god. I'm not gonna quit full. I feel like I could, if, if it is only seven of them that I have to kick their asses, then I think I could do this but I'm going to have to really focus. Like, you know if I was riding on just one of my copters and I just strapped a gun to it, I would be doing so much better. Like, who designed this bullshit? Was it the cop? 
feel like it might have been the cop. It's with the plankton faces on it. Curse you, SpongeBob! There. Alright. Let's try and go for... Uh, let's see. Did I actually split it twice? I think I did. Somehow. Let's try and go for that one. According to this, I just need to kill about seven of them. Okay, can't hit it. Deflate. Deflate. Inflate. Oh god. Up. Forward. I'm doing better. I'll, I'll say that. Now that I understand this copter just a tad bit more. Boy, did anybody wonder why I wasn't using the hot air, like, you know, just the hot air balloon functionality of any of this shit? Because if you were, here's your answer. Almost in view. There we go. Okay. Now you. Uh, uh, did I get him? I think I got him. All right, one more to go, and I could say goodbye to this mission forever. Oh, wow. Come on. Pick up speed. Pick up speed. Don't fuck it up. Also, don't run out of ammo just before you actually manage to defeat this guy. Oh, this is bullshit. Okay. Come on! You're so close! Is that it? I think I got- Oh, I think I did it! Finally, good. No, I don't know why, but this pig guy, he always has the worst fucking missions. Like, maybe it's just me, but I, I swear, it's... It's a rotation of sorts. Maybe it is, maybe it is, uh, maybe somebody got very specific instructions to do missions for specific people. And maybe the guy that just did the missions for the pig sucks at making levels. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case, actually. Alright. see what we got over here. Sup, Blubber? What are you doing? Army lad, Captain Flash McGlover at your service. Space crusading and intergalactic adventure. Who can I turn for to for a good old test of me space racing skills? Oh, God. Space racing. Okay, what do you do? Captain Flash McGlover wants to prove his piloting ability over a land and air-based race. If you don't have any vehicles equipped for both, maybe you can find some along the way. Ah, uh, all right. Oh, uh, I know I have one. And that is a good old I'm a vampire. <laughs> so, let's just cross our fingers that this works out. Oh, fuck. Wings didn't activate. There we go. I, I tried a couple of race based things with, like, the Jinjos, and let me tell you, they are. Uh, no! 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 Stop it! Cut it out! Oh! You know, it's not fun because there's so many, like, dip, dips, dives, and turns, especially ones inside these little caverns. Oh, no. Uh, come on. Uh, oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm restarting. That was terrible. I mean, also, I also noticed that the motorcycles in this game, they're really, really inconvenient to use.
There you go. I mean, like, not super inconvenient, but they don't have a really good turn radius, and that's the issue. So, in the event you needed to, for, say, make a turn like that, it has to be really, really sharp. You know? You can't make slight turns. It's like all or nothing, and you have to do it on a flat plane. Otherwise, your car just ends up hugging the curve. All right, let's try this again, except this time, tighter curve, flat surface. There we go. It's a little bit better. My god, pacing myself in a race. I might actually be learning. Wait, what? What? Okay, that confused the hell out of me, but okay. Nope! Fucker, stop. <laughs> oh, no, I was following his movement. Okay, up and at him. Back to the left. Okay, did it. This is good. I have much better luck in the air, so th this is good. Crush on through. Up and to the left. Oh, Jesus. What? Why is there a porthole here? Oh, no. No! Forward! Come on! Don't lose speed, asshat! There. Are we nearly there? I hope so. No, bank more. Oh shit! What? Oh my god! Oh, this is what the fuck? Ah! No! Ah! I lost. Why'd my wing have to come off right the hell there? Okay. Let's try this again. Cruise over the water. Now, careful turn so that my chopper doesn't just immediately fall on its ass. Oh, no! Ugh. Okay, down! Yes! Motherfucker! Wow. Oh, I'm done with that. I am so done with that. Like, if you thought racing... Yeah, like, if you thought racing in this game was difficult because of just the terrain of other areas, consider this place. Like, there, there is no flat stretches of land anywhere. Okay. Taxi, I can do taxi. Pick up the researchers and take them to their areas of research interest. A vehicle with lots of passenger seats will be required to ferry this bunch of misfits. Uh, how many? Oh boy. Didn't I have a taxi at one point? Oh yeah, I had this one. <laughs> I feel like this is probably not going to be powerful enough, but let's just go ahead. Also, I may want this thing to fly at some point. Okay, so there's four of you. Uh, don't believe I have. Oh God damn it! And you guys are too fat for these seats, aren't you? Okay, I think I have to make a new taxi. Great. Well, you know what? Uh, no! I didn't want to press start. Shit! God damn it! That's another thing I noticed about the like the menus of this place. Like, even when they pop up, sometimes your up and down movements just, they don't take. Or maybe I'm just making excuses and I'm really awkward. That's also possible. Alright, so we're going to need to carry four of these assholes. Okay, I, I have four of these. So that way I'll be able to fit any and all of them. Um, 
kind of want... Like, I I'm not entirely sure... What would be the most convenient way to carry everybody? Because these things are fucking huge. That, like, that's the biggest problem with it. I guess... This kind of formation, but that, like that's gonna make a huge ass buzz, um, and it's not gonna be easy to maneuver anywhere. Unless I stack them some. No, I I don't think that's gonna be. I, that doesn't really work either. Unless. Well, here's an idea. How about we just instead move these guys in, and then modify the vehicle so that this wheel starts over here. I think that'll do. Putting the wheels. Down here. I mean, this thing's already really wide. Wait a minute. Yeah, let's go ahead and just... Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Alright. We'll add the engine later. And the extra wheel. Yeah. Let's drill them all the way down on the bottom. I, I at least want this thing to have a little bit of maneuverability. Tad bit. Maybe. If these guys weren't such fat asses, that maybe I wouldn't be able to make this thing... I wouldn't have to make this thing so huge. I suppose, theoretically, I don't really have to worry about carrying them all at once, but... I'm lazy, I don't want to do that. <laughs> okay. Um... For the sake of the fact that I have one, let's just go ahead and add a large engine. Fuel sake, let's add a large fuel. Mm. And really, that should be it. I mean, it's, it's, it's not the most well-constructed thing, but, uh... It'll do the job. Here. Got an idea. There we go. All right, guys. Form up, field trip over. Everybody get in the vehicle. And then everybody's got their own little destination to go to. And who wants to bet I'm going to be stopped by every single monster within the direct vicinity of this car? Uh oh. I just realized there's a lot of people that are going to have stops up above. Shit. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and start the, the, the ascent real quick. Oh god, I'm dizzy. <laughs> there. Okay, you stop over there. Uh, where's that other guy's spot? Over there? I think that's on the ground. What? Oh god. Alright, everybody back in. Sorry, my bad. Come on, you can get back in. He's fine. Humba, I I'm, I'm not crazy. Let's go. Well, that's reassuring. It's like I swear to God, I'm not an I'm not an insane truck driver. Okay. So I noticed there was that. Oh yeah. Oh God. Where am I going? Oh, there's that. There's that one space like very low to the ground there. Where's that located? Not back there. Shit. That, see, this is what I was talking about before. It's like, I don't really know the map all that well, so I'm not sure why the hell there's just a research location down that direction. Uh, all I can think is that maybe going through this way, there might be a path located. Ah! 
Hold, hold fast. Hold steady, asshole. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey! No! Oh, I, I wasn't even... I didn't even think about making this thing work on water. Shit. Damn it. Okay. Get your fat aquatic asses out of here. Fine. Back to the drawing board. Let's add... I don't think we need this thing to fly. It's, it's fine. Although I will add... Two of these. And I guess floaters. Because this thing needs to float. There. And just save it as the same thing, because it's literally the same thing. Except with fucking floaters. Alright, you guys, don't be dick. Please don't be dick. Hop on in. Come on, go. There. We know a little bit more about the layout around here. At least for this mission, so. Might do better. Might not. My money's on not. <laughs> Let's climb the tower. No. Oh no! No! Stay on. Physics be my friend today. There we go. And now suicide jump. <laughs> Everybody bailed out. It's like, oh shit! Uh oh. Okay, come on, come on, guys. You can do it. Let's make our way over here. At, at the very least, we know. That's a research station. And now over there. Where in the hell... Am I gonna have to, like, sink or some shit? All right, well, hold your breath. Sorry, Hamba. <laughs> there we go. Why do you have a spot under fucking water? Okay. Seems very dangerous, but whatever. I got a trophy from it. And your mission can go to hell. All right, I, I think we're doing pretty well. We've already, we've only pretty much clear, critically failed on one of these, and we've been doing all the rest of them okay. But uh, there's plenty of time for failure and error, so let's let's try another one. Ow! ow. Shit! Howdy, Boggy. How's it going? Alien Boggy. Oh. Fungus is contaminating shit. There. <laughs> Did we see over there? How'd you get here so fast? Okay. A toxic fungus is poisoning the atmosphere and must be taken up high before it implodes. It gets heavier as it rises, so you'll need a powerful lifting or carrying vehicle. I actually have kind of an idea for what I could potentially do for this. Um, for this, let's go ahead and create a vehicle. I'm actually, I'm really looking forward to this one. Here. So, let's just go ahead and fuck everything. Start from scratch. Come here. I got to save the seat. Okay, we are finally going to start using the motherfucking jets. All right, how many jets do we have here? Uh, one small, one large. I think that'll do. Damn it. Uh, 
welcome. Ooh. Um, I think what will do. Probably. All right. Let's just go ahead and add these two as fuel. Okay. Then the idea I had in mind would be to grab this thing via this thing. It's not going to be the lightest way to be able to carry this, but, you know, whatever. Okay. And then just to make sure that this thing doesn't just topple over, let's go ahead and add... Very light... L-pole? Nah, I don't know if L-pole will work. You need to start with just a pole. Actually, one really cool thing we could do... Wait a minute. See, where is it? 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 Ooh, detacher. There we go. There. This is gonna, like, look a little silly, but, like, hear me out on this one. <laughs> oh, it's a tad bit lopsided. Wait a minute. We may need to make another one on the back, just for the sake of this thing not, like, falling over. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Actually, no, we don't even know if it's gonna fall over. Let's test this. Now it basically holds over. Okay. Yeah, and the rocket works. Okay, and then, if we wanted to get rid of the legs... Yeah, there we go. And now we're just a rocket with a ball on it. Woohoo! <laughs> Sweet. And this thing has, like, really, really strong, like, you know, upward and lowered thrusts. Basically, uh, imagine one of the copters, except, you know, a, a fucking jet. Woohoo! I like it. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, what should we name the son of a bitch? I don't know, any, any suggestions out there? Uh, b -b 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 sort of breaks off its, uh, its earlier stage. So you could call it some kind of a stage rocket. Nah, it's not, uh, no, it doesn't really count as sort of a stage rocket, though. Hmm. Let's call it, uh... Uh, Fragtar. Why the fuck not? <laughs> I, I have no idea. Alright. Let's see if this thing is effective enough to actually... Oh. Oh, fuck. It did fall over. Shit. Okay. He's okay. Make this work. Bang! Oh, yeah! Okay. It's not the easiest thing to maneuver. There, got it. And this thing supposedly gets heavier as we get higher. Hmm. I dare say I think my rocket can take it. <laughs> yep, there we go. Perfect. Oh, I like that. Okay, well, that one was easy. <laughs> uh, let's try see if we can find a harder one. Let's see, oh no, wait, we've already been there. Fuck that. Ah, ow! Shit. I am great at the driving. 
I, I see there's Humba. Usually what she wants is some kind of a race, so let's talk to her. Fear. <laughs> Sup? Terrible thing happened to Terrarium. Dirty and dangerous space debris everywhere. Humba, look. Oh, uh, yeah. Humble make note to report uh, Captain Flash McDirpty Fur. Okay, whatever. Grunty has dumped a load of 1980 space junk in the terrarium. Gather up this rubbish with a pushing or a carrying vehicle and throw it into the airlock to get rid of it. I'm pushing? I mean, I got something for that. Let's see. It's one of the things that, that's aqua grabby. That ain't gonna work. Uh, which one were you? I know I got one. Oh, was it earlier? God. <laughs> this list is a little too gigantic. Get your fat ass out of here. Oh, yeah, it was George. Good old George. Okay, is this all the space debris, or is there, like, other clumps of it somewhere? Oh, I see what's going on here. Hold on a second. Hmm. Real quick, I noticed that this car doesn't have a whole lot of power on it, so let's improve on that, shall we? Here, we can dang all do better than just a couple of engines. It's fine. Uh, also, I noticed that the debris field is a tad bit wider than this thing, so we're gonna go ahead and extend it out a little bit. So that we can do all this in one swoop push. That'll probably do. Let's just connect the two. Um, b -b 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 panel. Let's see. Oh shit, there isn't a the corner thing here. Hold the phone. Okay. And what I was thinking is now that we have those assholes protecting the barrier, add a little bit of ammo to this thing. Where would it fit well? That'll do. And then... We haven't really used many of the weapons, so this is gonna be fun. I have an idea for this. There we go. Absolutely no thought involved with fighting any of the enemies. One here. One here. And, uh, one more. That should take care of pretty much anything. Let's see, Let, let's save this as, um... Uh... Georgia. <laughs> Why the fuck not? That should be interesting. Let, let's see what happens. Okay. There they go. Whoa, Jesus! No, 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 no. Wow, what the hell happened there? Oh, what? No. Car. Car. Come on, car. Hold. Hold firm. Wow. I feel like at this point it would be a lot easier for me to just take these and pile them right in. <laughs> it's just... Well, car's fucked. There. I'm not gonna get a medal or anything. Wow. Are you... Seriously? Alright, come on. Watch them kick their asses. Alright. The problem with those is that they seem to take a real long time to defeat the enemies, so... 
Let's rethink this. I just had a different idea. Here. Clockwork Kazes are kind of silly. Instead... Oh, not, not ammo free. I like ammo. Ammo's fine. Alright, we have one of these. Um, this'll have to do. Watch right outside. And then for the body... Got a very weak car. I just noticed that. There. I think that'll do. New version of Georgia. And the torpedo is absolutely automatic, so... Oh wait, no. Is it? Oh, well, it homes at the very least. All the space debris is right in the fucking way. Uh. Come on. Alright. That's done. Do I have enough power to push all this stuff to the end? Wow. Why am I so slidey? Jesus. Is it just the width of my car? Is that it? Actually, I'm gonna go test that. What the fuck? I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm a little too expectant of this design. It seems to really want to slide a whole fuck ton. Let's see. Um, on flat planes, it seems to be okay. Actually, yeah, I'm in here it's fine. What the hell happened? Why Why suddenly when I get tasked with, like, moving an object, suddenly this car absolutely goes apeshit? Okay. Um, can we test that theory? Yep, soccer ball. This thing around. I guess on flat surfaces it's fine. Although when it gets on surfaces like this, it goes absolutely nuts. I wonder if moving the wheels would do anything to it. Probably nothing positive. Yeah, let's try it. This may or not this may or may not look silly, but there we go. Okay, does it handle the same? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So, how does this thing react to being on... There, rough surfaces. Whoa. Um... You know... Actually better. I felt like I actually had control there. As opposed to before, where it was just like, let the dunes take me wherever. Alright. Hmm. I'm starting to think, maybe... Oh, no, 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 not new blueprint. Let's just try it with this brand new design, and we will... We'll see. I was thinking about, like, maybe a combination between Clockwork Kazes and this, but... Whatever, let, let, let's try one thing at a time, and if this doesn't work, then we could we can adjust. Although now this thing should drive around a lot more conveniently.
There, go suck a dick. Okay. I also feel like I might want to add a little bit more to the sides of this thing. Oh, oh, oh! Careful. Wow. I'm nearly done. Good lord. And that's the end of the space debris. Was I re did you really need to call me in for that one? Jesus. All right, thank you, Humba. It is, it is interesting to try and uh, solve these kinds of things. Because usually your problem does lie in something like, oh, you didn't balance this properly, or, you know, like, of course this car isn't gonna work. You put the wheels here, numbnuts. Sometimes there are logical solutions to things, just, oh boy, not all the time. Sometimes there's just challenges that are there just to be obnoxious. All right, so that one's done. Uh, looks like all we have left are stuff above. Let's see. Okay, I think, I think I actually know where one of these challenges is and it's in here. Just above on a ledge. Right? Or am I completely off on that one? Oh, wait. Here we are. Tiny little ball. How's it going, Klungo? Klungo's dream almost come true. Delicious floatberry fruit destined for Klungo's belly. Forget watering can and fruit not ripen. Oh. Okay, well, let, let's just read this. It'll tell us. The floatberry fruits require ripening. Fortunately, all they need is some water. So bring a vehicle capable of reaching the fruits and getting them into contact with water. Um, I guess that really depends on... Well, hold on a second. Isn't, isn't there a whole bunch of water below it? Hmm. I think this machine might be able to do it. The one that we just built. Eee! Oh shit. And then all we need to do is like push a fuck ton of them into the water below, right? Or am I just am I really just dreaming all this? Okay, we need ten of them to get all watery. Oh no! Okay. That's not gonna be enough. <laughs> Pushed seven in. Can I just throw three more of them in? That'd be easy, and I wouldn't have to worry too much about anything. Yoink! Oh, you son of a bitch. Get in the water. What? Okay, that's nine. Or it will be once it gets in the fucking water. Jesus! Running out of time! I'm not going to get my fabulous trophy! Um. Oh, and then there's one more down there. You know what? Let's retry that challenge. I actually feel like I could do this. If I don't derp around as much. Bonsai! Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Um. Try. Okay. Set. Retry of retry. Bonsai! Shit. Well, how did I manage to get in there before? Uh, did I, like, do that on an angle or something? Here. Let's try it again like this. Oh, that was close. Here's an idea. This is gonna be silly as all balls, but let, let's try this. Bump a jump a jump bump a dump a dump. Oh. 
There we go. <laughs> oh, see where I'm going with this one? Um, you know, it has enough problem with, like, dragging on the bottom of this thing, as it is. I feel like I should try to bring this up here. This will give me enough jump. I, I think the less drag we have on the very bottom of this thing, the better. And now we just need to connect those springs so that they actually work properly. And all we need to do for that is to add ourselves some T-pulls here and here. And add some L-pulls. And here. That should make our little car jump. Um... A little bit. I think that'll be enough jump. Okay. And we'll just go ahead and save it as Georgia anyway. I'm not gonna make a springy Georgia, goddammit. Really. It's Georgia with the springs attached to it. Fuck it. Let's see if this gets us our, uh, what we want. Boing. Oh, God, yeah. Okay, all y'all, get in the water. Get in the... Get, get... Water. Oh, shit! <laughs> no! Ah. Uh, I'm getting there. I don't understand that. It's probably silly that I'm like I'm using so much time just to try and perfect these tiny little missions, but hey, I'm having fun. Oh no! Oh, that was violent. Okay. All right, got a lot of them in my in my grasp now. Come on, we can do it. Up and over the edge. Okay, there we go. Are you the only one left? Oh, not anymore. <laughs> All right. Now I guess I could push the other ones off. What? Oh shit! No, <laughs> I missed that one. Fuck. Ah. Yeah, you know, forget it. I'm, I'm just gonna try and finish the job. Whatever. Or... Uh, I really want to get perfect on this. I put so much fucking time in it at this point. Okay, stick, stick with me, people. We will have ultimate victory. Oh, well, there it goes. Whoa! Ah, no! Why? Why? Ah, Jesus. Thanks, physics, for just deciding it's time to flippy trick. I will say one of the nice things about this game is that the the refreshes it does take a little bit of time, but it's it's not it's not too much of a penalty. Like, it, it doesn't take a whole lot of time for you to just be able to restart. Which is nice. I like games that do that. Oh, shit. Oh, there goes my car. Oh, you asshat. Okay. Where? It's going off. I think I got this one. Into the water. And now if I can just get to the last one, I'll have the TT trophy in my hands. Oh, 
There we go. Sweet. All right. That's done. It's funny. I've made so many of these like random ass uh, cars just for the for the sake of these individual missions. Like that's what's nice about this game. Like I've, I've said this before and I'll say it again. If they just didn't tie this in with Banjo Kazooie at all, I think this game would have done a whole lot better. I mean, it wouldn't have been a smash hit, that's for certain, but... Then again, it's not going to be a smash hit with Banjo-Kazooie on it either. I think that's where... Th that's where problems come, because a lot of people are expecting a certain thing when you say, a new Banjo-Kazooie game. But they don't expect cars, they don't expect gameplay like this. So, like, you know, if they would have just let any of their other... Uh, intellectual properties just go ahead and have this game. I think it would have been a whole lot better. Uh oh, I think I remember this one. Yep. Shooting targets, aliens, what's all this about, Bogey? An old favorite or a blatant rehash? Regardless, you'll be climbing on board the trusty saucer apparel to blast some planets to pieces. Different colors are worth different scores. We're. Going, uh, I don't know if you remember this in Banjo-Tooie, but oh god. It was tough then, and I'm sure it's gonna be just as tough now. Oh, it's especially not good that, uh... Ah! I think the one in Banjo-Kazooie was actually a little bit easier to control, actually. <laughs> or maybe I'm nuts, in the way. Okay. I think I got most of those. No! Shit! Come on! So tough to hit. There we go. Oh, well, how long is this gonna be? Uh oh. There we go. No! Ah, stop moving so quickly! Oh. Sorry, I'm not talking all that much. I'm just, I'm concentrating very hard on this bullshit. <laughs> back memories though. Very angry memories. One spent taking controllers and chewing up chewing the cords in half. do this multiple times like that you see how long this challenge is taking and it takes exactly that much amount of time the next time you try to do it so if I fail and if I just get notes uh, it's a lot of extra shit that I'm gonna have to try and shoot near the end, I really hope not. Because I have not nearly gotten a good enough score. Oh, here we go. Got all the good ones there. Oh, 
Oh my god! Oh, I forgot about this part. Ah, space! Help! We're in space! And I can't really hit any of the other ones. I'm losing it. There's so much stuff, I, I don't know what to shoot first. Arr. I'm so close to like, actually getting a victory here. Ah, oh, I did it! Okay. Oh, I actually pulled it off. Shit. Thank God. I, I, I'm not doing that again. That that TT trophy can be won by somebody else, because no. Uh, no. Not enough. Um, I think that's it. I think it's all the ones for this uh, particular level. So, good. Head back to Showdown. Wonder how long it'll be until I get some of the uh, better equipment. Like, I hope it's not, like, a hundred uh, jiggies or something, because that would be terrible. You know one of the sad things? Uh, you know that stop and swap stuff that I talked about a little bit earlier? And I don't know if I mentioned it in the other stream, but uh, stop and swap uh, stuff, at least for the Xbox Live Arcade versions of uh, Banjo and Kazooie, they do work. So, uh, and, and specifically for this game. If you, have, if you have all the stop and swap items from Banjo, Kazooie, and Tui, you can get them in this game, which is actually kind of fucking badass. It's weird. It, it, it's really linking a lot of the past with the future, and it's kind of. It's haunting in that way. It's just too bad it couldn't have happened on an actual Banjo platformer. All right, let's get these bad boys out of here. Can't go through there. Ah! No! 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 Leave me the fuck alone, all right? Look, I got an agenda. I'm sure you do. Your agenda probably involves kicking my ass. No, fuck it. Leave me alone. <sighs> oh yeah, that's right, I have a laser. <laughs> I could have I just straight up kicked their ass with a laser. Didn't think that far ahead. Ah! Nope. Nope! Nope. Ignore. Ignore me. Nothing's happening. Ah. Okay, you know what? Fuck you. I don't care. Gonna treat me like a goddamn vigilante? I am going to be a vigilante. There we go. And now we unlock other places. Ubernaka. See, <laughs> we got a welder's breath. Which is basically a flamethrower. Actually, funnily enough, uh, on the subject of, like, vigilantes and stuff, I remember, um... I remember when I went off to Seattle, there was a whole lot of, like... There's a whole lot of homeless people there. And the unfortunate thing about the homeless, like, homeless people is that... Like, because they're homeless, a lot of people treat them very differently. You know, like, a lot of people completely ignore them and don't actually talk to... Them, like. They don't actually kind of treat them as people or human beings. Instead, they just kind of brush them off and pretend like they're not there. Especially not paying attention to them in... Like, it's just some stuff that... Oh, shit. Let's get the hell out of here. There. No! Ah! Good lord. But anyway, there have actually been studies done that um, show that homeless... Th there is such a thing as, like, homeless uh, syndrome. Where just, your mind is warped so much by the lack of attention and the lack of actually being treated as a human person or an individual that it, it pretty much just, like... There is a thing as, like, uh, homeless insanity. And that... that it, it really does suck. Somebody could have been an absolutely normal, regular person, but... 
they're treated so badly because they asked for some spare change. Like, and that does, it kind of sucks. It alienates you and it really does make you feel less of a human. That being said, it's really difficult to side on their end of things, considering, like, it, it is an awkward situation you're put in. Being like, I, you know, I might have, like, a quarter on me. Actually, no, no, I, I don't usually have quarters on me. I, it's usually... I'm, I'm not going to say huge dollar bills, but at the very least, it's more like a dollar. That one. There. That way we can fly around a little easier. Alright, we're two first. Shut the hell up. Now remember, I, I ran into a lot of that when I took a trip up to Seattle, and let me tell you, it's depressing. There's a lot of homeless people, especially on, like, the uh, the better strips of the place. And, like, on the lower strips, you could... I, I didn't really take too many trips down to the lower strips, but there are definitely homeless people there as well. Just on the higher strips, there's a better chance of people actually giving money. There you go. It didn't help that I was also down there for a convention, so that means they could pretty much sucker you into giving them money. Just like, oh my god, so many, uh... You know, like, so many young, innocent people who don't understand the world are here. Might as well take advantage of the situation, right? Howdy, how's it going? Master Benju, it's a beverage-related disaster. I'll never get refreshments to the hard-working research crew on time. I think I remember this, and I was uh, very angry at it. The research team left strict instructions for delivery of the refreshments. I've made the tea, and... Dick, motherfucker. Oh, my God! Oh... Uh, well, now that I've seen that vehicle, I remember it very clearly now. This this mission sucks. It's snack time in the terrarium, with tea and biscuits to be delivered. Each researcher only needs one item, but this will still require a vehicle capable of carrying many objects. Oh, this mission is bullshit. They have to pick up all the tea and biscuits and deliver them all. Eh. Ah, nope. Hey, come on. Onto the cart. Let's go. Thermos. Nope. You must... There. I do wonder if it's at all easier to, uh... pick up, like, a couple of things at a time and try and come back. It's not how I roll, though. It's not how I do things. There. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to run you over. Okay, where is everybody here? Uh, there appears to be one person over in that area. Shit. These arrows aren't giving me exact locations. Ow. The fuck. Give me alone. Okay. Oh, there's one person up here. Can I maneuver around and get up there without dropping anything? Have I dropped anything yet? I can't even tell. Howdy. There I go. Thank you. It's funny that, you know, they'll compliment me. But the pig guy is like, what took you so long? I've been waiting for ages for my coffee. Okay, there's another guy over there. Good lord, why, why can't you all just be in the central hub? Please? I have no idea where any of those arrows lead. Like, what places, what spaces. I know one person's in a tunnel somewhere. Yeah, shit. Excuse me for a second. I have an ass to kick. There. Wow. I am going to lose this. <laughs> okay, I, I believe this path up here leads maybe to some money. No? Okay, well, at, at least there's a door I can enter here. 
Oh, good. Here. There's somebody. Okay. What's up? How you doing? Oh, hey, where's the usual servant? Never mind. Hand it over. Thanks, dickwad. All right. Okay, the next one. Oh, I think it's inside this little crevice here. Meh, meh. Careful. Okay. Howdy. I'm just going to run you over. No big deal. Excuse me. Okay, next guy. This direction. Oh! Yeah. I'm actually doing decently. This isn't nearly as just... Oh, shit! <laughs> no! Oh, is he gonna warp back, or do I need to go down there with him? Oh, fuck. Okay, good. Oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh, it's all going wrong! It's all going wrong! Ah, shit! God, what? Why do the NPCs have to have physics? Ah. Okay. So there's four of them. I wonder if I really need to be carrying the fucking coffee. Because it seems like, like, you know, I could possibly give them just one of these. There we go. I'll, I'll take a thermos. Cool. Start with you first. So that I don't run you over anymore. Ah! Okay. Here. Thank you, boy. Tea break be the best time of the day. Good. Hey, oh, God. Oh, I've, I've dropped all my cargo. Okay. Get the thermos back on. We had plenty of supplies, but we're terribly short on time, I'm aware! Shut up! Alright. So there's that. Where is everybody else located in this vast wasteland that they call a terrarium? Okay. Howdy, Klungo. Sandwich? No, you wanted to drink. Cool. All right, and I think the other ones are located outside? Maybe? I don't remember. At least one person's in here. Sup? There, have that. Okay, oh, I could go for some cookies right now. <laughs> or biscuits, as the British say. Okay, I think I might actually be able to get the TT Trophy, as, as long as I don't fuck up too hardcore. That being said, I'm fucking it up! I think I might have spoke too soon. I think I literally just jinxed myself. Why does this tray have to be so awkward? Uh, I lost the sandwich. Yeah, I jinxed myself. I can at least get one sandwich up there, right? Fucking leaf. Mm. I know there's easier ways to get up there. I, I am very well aware of that. But, good lord, I just want this done. Here. Take your sandwich, leave me alone. Alright, cool, cool. I think the worst, like, the, the worst missions out of all of them are the ones where you don't have a choice on what kind of a, uh, you know, what, what kind of a vehicle you can carry. I feel like I would have done a hell of a lot better with that mission had I had an option. Alright. Super Sally. What the hell is Super Sally? 
Ooh. The Elite Space Heroes finally upgraded the old Moon Buggy. Meet Super Sally, the top of the line model. And I assume... Oh, Flash is taking delivery of Sally at top of the range Moon Buggy. He's been sampling the float berry juice, so a test driver must complete a time trial course to ensure Sally runs smoothly. I'm going to wreck Sally. <laughs> Boy, that sounds dirty as all fuck, but okay. Okay, oh my god, it's rocket propelled. Wow, that is a huge margin between, you know, super success, uh, just regular success, and then just a gigantic portion of it is just, you, you get jig, uh, you know, uh, you get jiggies. Congratulations. Okay, still going. Trying not to fall off. Keeping a decent speed. Ah, you whore. Do it. Oh no. Ah, stay on. So close. Okay. Okay. Hey, you're fine. Why does this path have to be so frickin' tight? Alright. I've lost the TT trophy, but at least I got Jiggy. Woo! Good. Alright, whatever. Give me, my, give me my Jiggy, damn it. Okay, so that's that. Uh, next one's... All seem to be a little bit high up. Okay. Let's see. Oh, the next one's in this room. Cool. Break through the glass. What? Why do they keep putting up those glass panes? Damn it! They're inconvenient as balls. How's it going, Klungo? You look down. Or completely spaced out. Glungo gather fruit berry, like float berry fruit to make lots of money. Help bear arrive at just right time again. Glungo use fruit to make floaty fruit juice. Best in galaxy. Glungo finally ready to cash in after hard work. <laughs> Wait a minute, didn't we do most of the hard work for you? Glungo not here, bear properly. Go on. Pick fruit from air, put in fruit collector, then Klungo make derp. Okay. Float berries are finally ripe, so now they must be gathered the fruit, uh, be, be gathered the fruit floats high above the collector, so you'll need a flying vehicle capable of pushing or pulling it down. I'm trying to... You know what, let's start the game. I, I want to look at what the physics are on these goddamn things. Air. Where are they at? Are they above or below? I can't tell. Where are they? Are they? God, is there any way to zoom in as Banjo in this game? I don't think there is. Okay, they're all really above. Hmm. I had an idea. All right, let's create a vehicle. Actually, I have an interesting plan here. Uh, let's create a new vehicle. We're going to choose storage, and we're going to make a vehicle with a large box faced upside down. Because I think the float berries will just float in air. So if we can just grab them... I think they'll I think they'll stay inside the bin. Okay. Now let's take some large propellers and place them on the bottom. Oh. Oh shit. 
<laughs> I didn't know I only had two of those. God damn it. Okay. Then I guess we're just gonna have to press a button to make all the foldy ones open up. Cool. Okay, let's add a little bit of power to this bastard. Eh. I'm going. Eh. Fuel. Let's see. Oh, God. That's going to be. Oh, really, really slack. Okay. Let's add a seat. Strong seat. I guess. Right there. I think that'll do it. Let's go to the testo checks to make sure it even works. Yep. Okay, so my idea is I'll scoop the berry from the bottom and then drive it along and then just raise them up. Simple enough. Uh, let's go with a simple name this time. Okay, let's see if my theory holds water or if I'm an idiot. Possibly a combination of both. Okay, I wonder how many berries I can actually carry in this thing. Oh, like one. <laughs> it's just definitely one. Let's see. Uh, I don't know if they have too strong of an attachment to... Oh, oh my god, this... May or may not have been a mistake. Oh, shit. Wow, never mind. I thought maybe that would have worked a little bit better. Um, here's an idea. Wait a minute. Let's go ahead. Let's modify the fly box real quick. Actually, either that or we can just build a new one. Come to think of it, we're not even going to need the box. Okay. Okay, let, let, let's pull this, like, in the last one. Here, I, I have kind of, I have an idea. Wait a minute. This is going to look real silly. Oh, what? Shit. Okay. Let's pick a strong seat. Add the sticky ball. Um, hmm. For the sake of weight, I think I want to put it on here. Place the engine here. The medium fuel here. And then here. one large propeller on top. Something like that. And then just for flare. Let's go ahead and build the exact same contraption we did for the last vehicle. Hmm. 
feel like it'd be a smart idea if I also built pretty much the exact same thing except out here. There. Almost like it's a bow. Come to think of it, how many of those... You know, how many of those detachers do I even have left? Oh, two. Convenient. And then to finish it off... To add a bunch of T-panels. There we go. And let's save this as... Stick lift. There we go. That should be fun to, lo uh, to watch just fly around. And I should have a little bit more control over both the copter and actually lifting this thing around, so... Let's try. Okay. It has succeeded in the stand portion of the test. And it has detached beautifully. Now the mission is grabbing four of these. Oh, gee. Okay, not the easiest thing to control. Okay, it'll work. It'll work. Just gotta stick on something. There we go. Oh, I got two of them. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh my god. This isn't Freudian at all. Yeah. Flying around with my two big balls. Okay, come on. Into the machine. Okay. Well, let's see if I can pull the exact same thing with two more. Shut up, I know. I know what I'm doing. I guess. Oh, crap. Nope. I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, Jesus. I really want you guys to be able to feel just how difficult it is to control this thing. To control anything in this game, rather. Come on. Let's go. I don't think I'm going to get the trophy, but I can at least get the jiggy. Damn, you bastard! Not that hard. Okay, maybe it is that hard. Good lord. God, are you serious? Why is it so awkward to control this one copter? This one blade. There. <laughs> of course, the way I was doing it, I would have gone in with the juice. Barren fruit juice. A hit amongst many. A terror for many of them. Because the problem would be that he would need to get a whole bunch more bears, so... Oh, he'd basically start just shipping in a whole bunch of bear refugees and just grinding them up. Okay, so that one's done. So now, there's, there's another one located just above here. Let's see if we're going to complete that one. Here, come on. Oh, good, you. What do you have to say? There. I really don't care about your story, just tell me what you need to do. The mysterious flower at the top of the terrarium is about to spew out grunt 
spot trouble. Load up a vehicle with all your weapons and ammo and blast them out of the sky. Or, you know. I could not give a shit and just uh, do something else. Here. Let's go ahead and modify this vehicle, huh? How about that? There. It's gonna look a little awkward, but whatever. There. And then just to make sure that I don't accidentally drop all of my stuff. Derp de derp. Oh. There we go. And then not looking for accuracy, really. I <laughs> don't really care all that much about that. Oh, this is going to be an absolute mess of a vehicle, but let's see if it at least works. Oh, wow. Um, barely. <laughs> it barely works as a flying vehicle. I may need to modify this a bit. There. I might have a little too much ammo on it. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, as a matter of fact, how about this? We're going to modify this a tad bit more, take out a little bit of the ammo, because I'm sure that's probably making it heavier than hell. There we go. And then let's use some strong poles at the very least. There we go. Oh, whoopsies. Nope, nope, I didn't want to do that. There. Okay. Does that help it out at all? Because <laughs> I feel like the... All that ammo probably fucked it up somewhat. Oh, not much. Shit. Okay. Well, now what? Um. Brr. Here's okay. Here about how about this? Go for a large. Oh, that ain't gonna work all that well. Yeah. Any space in between bear and wheels? No. Shit. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Actually, no, that's not what we're gonna do. God damn it. What the fuck do I do now? Uh, okay, let's add a whole bunch of small propellers to the bottom. Maybe that'll do it. Probably not, but, you know, just, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm reaching for straws here. I have no fucking idea. Is that gonna do anything? Oh! That's how, that actually helps out quite a bit. Uh, it still moves around like an elephant attached to a fucking jet engine. But it at least does shit. Okay. <laughs> this, is, this looks fucking awful. Oh man. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna name this um
there. Perfect. Now let's just see if this works. Because, um, don't care all that much about aiming. Oh wow, this is actually... Oh, gee, no! Get back on. Okay, good. I got my turret back. Oh, wow. I'm not really killing them, am I? Not really. I think I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board on this one. <laughs> that actually doesn't work. Shit. Um. Uh, okay. Wait, wait. We we can readjust. We can readjust. Uh, clockwork was probably not the smartest idea. I I feel like the clockwork eggs actually kind of suck. Uh. Hold on a second. Yeah. Shit. I'm trying to do something real quick. Because I noticed this, like, it was awkwardly to the side, and I'm not sure why. <laughs> that should fix that. Now then. Um, Weapons-wise, we need to pick something else either than the Clockwork Castles, because they're not going to do anything. Clearly, they're not going to do anything. I wish I had more Torpedoes, because, like, those are extremely deadly, and I don't have to think too much about actually shooting them. You know, I can kind of just strap them onto my vehicle and call it a day. Okay. Uh, here's a plan for these. I'm going to... I'm gonna land them down here. There we go. Actually, would that be the best option? Ah, uh, yeah, it's probably the best option. Okay, I'm gonna put a torque dial on here. And then... Laser over here. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. I guess this at least flies around. Uh, I need to be very limited with how many times I use the laser. And these things should be able to actually hone in on my enemies, so that's cool. And I guess the ultimate question would be, why do I still have these orange pieces of shit hanging on my, uh, hanging on this thing? I suppose I could house this thing in something. Because right now it's kind of just basic units hovering on this thing. Ah, whatever. Let's test it. Save it again as the f fucking whale. And I guess we'll just see what the hell happens. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh god. Oh, it's lopsided. And up we go! There. Am I hitting multiple things with this? I hope so. Let's see, I'm already up to four, whereas before I really wasn't up to anything. I really wish these things exploded on impact! Oh god, pull up, pull up, shit! Okay, at least my count is actually going up. So that's, I guess that's the best news I could possibly give myself. Oh shit, I'm out of ammo, fuck! 
Ah! Okay. Now I can shoot two at a time. Great. Oh, this is a disaster. How do you kill all these things? Seriously. Do I just need to, like, run into them with my face or something? The only thing I can think is, like, loading myself up with even more ammo? Good lord. I've already got a shit ton of it. Does anybody have any tips that I could do here? Because I need to kill 50 of them. Good lord. Uh. Oh boy. You know what? Okay. After looking at this from every angle I possibly could, I feel like this is a mission I need to get back to once I have more of the end game items. Because that's terrible. Like, that, that's a horrible fucking mission. Unless there's something that I was really missing there, which I, pro I probably was. Whoa! Ah, Neato. Oh, sorry. Sorry, my bad. It's picking on the overweight character, huh? Okay, I think I remember this mission. A member of, uh, Boggy's so-called family is stranded from far... Wait, uh, far from the cooling waters deep beneath the planet. To reunite them, you'll need a casket-carrying vehicle capable of going underwater. Hmm. I'm trying to recall how I did this. I actually remember I made something kind of complicated. But I don't recall what it was. Oh, holy shit. I don't know. My creativity is kind of... It, it, it's kind of missing at this point, because, like... I've been doing it a little too long, too. Like, I've been playing a lot of Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts for the past couple of days with, like, just collecting shit and all that stuff, and I feel like I'm getting a little bit burned out from it. Okay, is, is there any vehicles that we currently already have that I could just substitute in with this mission? Because that would be the easiest thing to do. Really not in the mood and doing anything else. C could I just use the fly box? What would happen if I use the fly box? Let's test this. Seems big enough to carry him, right? Okay. All right, buddy. Going across the world and getting you reunited with the uh, cold, apparently, or water, or just something. His health seems fine. All right, I believe it's this way, maybe? I forget. Just w one of, one of these pools leads us to some kind of an underground water chamber. But which one is it? <laughs> Okay, not there. No, leave me alone. Over here, maybe? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think I'm remembering this now. Shut up, I'm getting him there as fast as I can. Just need you to stay inside the cart while we submerge ourselves, please. Yeah, it's through here. It's okay, buddy, you're gonna be fine. You'll be with your family in just a second. Come on, sink. Uh, problem is, the, the copter is trying to gain altitude as much as it possibly can underwater. That's not the best thing. You stop hitting your fucking head. Okay, is that good? Nope. Arr. Really should have grabbed something that ran on wheels. It's fine, we're getting there. Getting there. And, and I have a sub vehicle. I mean, like, that's what that pack on the back of this thing is for, so. Wow. I feel like at this point I could probably just jump out, grab him, and go. <laughs> yeah. This is. This is a lot easier. Let's go, buddy. 
We're almost home. I'm shaking you around a lot. Like basically, I'm shaking an infant, but oh yeah, it's fine. Okay, almost there. I just need to not run out of uh, <laughs> run out of freaking air, and I'll be fine. Ah, it's his entire family. Very nice. Hmm, got that done. Um, one more mission just hanging around here? And it's lower than here. Now I think I'm gonna do this last mission and then I am going to call it a day, cause good, oh wait. Oh, no, never mind, I'm not gonna do this mission cause it's bullshit. Sorry, I forgot, like, again, I'm a little burnt out at this point. I've done a lot of Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts. I think I'm done. I'm gonna grab the last of the jiggies and then I'm gonna load it into the bank and uh, in town square we'll see if we get anything fun anything new but after that I I kind of hesitate to say that maybe we're ready either that or we can um, we can try and go back to the terrarium of terror next episode and try our best to get a few more jiggies maybe I don't know I, I, I just feel like I'm kind of spacing out not really in the mood to like be in that kind of a I don't, I, I don't want to be in that kind of a mindset while I'm streaming that's for sure where I'm just kind of spacing out and disconnecting with the entire planet oh, hey. there we go Let's just hope the police are kind of in a good mood today okay Got that. Oh yeah, I can finally get rid of this thing. There, we finally have a shortcut to this place. It's bugging the hell out of me. It's just like, let's go all the way around town just to get to this one area in the game. Feck. Hey. Alright. Cool, cool. Oh, we're up to 89, seriously? Okay, so is there... Is there a Jiggy sitting over here? Oh, I hope so. I'd like to round this place, this playthrough out to 90. Ah, uh, shit. That would've been a really nice number to end on. God damn it. I like well-rounded numbers. Also, I remember there's a lot of places that I, I... There's a lot of them that I've kind of skipped because I didn't have the right materials or I just didn't have the equipment. Well, I... I I wasn't able to complete challenges because I genuinely didn't have any good stuff on me. So, fuck off, Penguin. So at some point, I really should go back and try and complete those challenges. Ah, this place is too populated. Fuck off. 89. Uh, Hama, do you have anything new? I don't think you do. What's up? Here. Parts? Uh, it's the robo fix. Whatever. I, d I haven't really looked at your blueprints all that much. I kind of want to see what you got. Oh, the humba go anywhere. Land, sea, air, even below waves. No trouble for humbas all round. I think this is very similar to a vehicle that I ended up making at the very latter end of um, of just the entire playthrough that I did a really long time ago. It's the humba rocket. Basically, if you're really lazy and you if you don't want to build your own vehicles, you can come in here and try it. If you genuinely just do not have any idea how to do anything. On the plane. On <laughs> the union. Oh, that's great. <laughs> What's that say? Who say, uh, say rare team too patriotic? No, of course not. Big load. Waka waka. Humba tank. Humba boat. Oh, it's taking forever to load these. Jeez. Alright. No, that's enough of that. And Again, I don't really want to buy any of those because it saves me money to be able to just build my own things. And You know, it's actually fun to put together your own things. Surprisingly. It's fun to play the game. Shock. 
Lardo's Pizza. <laughs> I wish there were, I wish some of the things around here I could actually walk into. All right. That'll do it for today, I think. I'm gonna... I'm gonna debate with myself on this one, because, again, I, I'm kind of hitting that plateau of, oh god, I've done this every week for the past, like, three weeks. I feel like I either need to take a break, or we need to finish up this playthrough. This is, I'm losing my mind. <clears throat> so that'll do it for today. Now, thanks for everybody everybody who came out to see this stream tonight. Uh, if you want to catch this stream anytime after it is done, you can go to my YouTube channel, and I will be uploading it shortly there after this stream is done. Uh, you can see me. You can find me streaming on Saturdays, Sundays, and Wednesdays, all of them at 7 o'clock. Now, on Saturdays and Sundays, I play more recent games or games that I think are really relevant in pop culture. Like, I've been playing through this game because, you know, there's games like A Hat in Time and uh, Ukulele that have just recently been surfacing from Kickstarter, and I'm super excited about those. And then on Wednesday, I play more retro type video games, and I'm currently playing a fan made game. Uh, a fan-made Super Mario 64 sequel called Super Mario Star Road. And if you're interested in something like that, uh, there are playthroughs of that on my channel as well. Oh god, I get angry. Very angry at some of those playthroughs. Anyway, that'll do it. Thanks for coming out, everybody. See you later.